Basically, I've been producing um, a program called Star Makers Malta here in Malta together with my partner Melanie Kelly, which is a wonderful woman. Uh, she's my left hand and my right brain. And uh, it's very interesting producing TV in Malta because it's a different audience than the audience in Holland, where I come from. Uh, we have to um, try and educate in a different way for a different audience. Um, it's hard producing TV in Malta because you have to finance your program completely yourself. So you're completely dependent on sponsors. So you have to go and find them. And at the same time, it's really nice living in Malta because the quality of life is very good. And um, now we're working on a new TV program. It's still Star Makers, but it's going to be a different adventure in which we're going to give four candidates, four local candidates, the chance to let their inner star shine and to do exactly what they want in life and to follow their dreams. And we are going to try and help them do this. And obviously, someone will be following their dream and doing exactly what they want in life. Uh, what Melanie and myself have to do as a producer is uh, you come up with the concept of what the program is going to be like. Then you make a backbone of the TV program. So you say, okay, uh, we have episode one is going to be the application day. Episode two is going to be the auditions. Episode three is going to be this, this, this and this. And then you sit together with your director, which would be the person who is going to be in charge of the editing. And we say, okay, we're going to have, um, an, in this first program, we're going to have a scene of the dance audition. Then we're going to have an interview with this person. And then you write down the whole program. And while you do that, you think of your sponsors. So you think, okay, in, in this program, we have um, an episode where they're all going to be dancing. Maybe we can have a sponsor in clothes. Or maybe they'll be drinking some food in the lunch and we get um, a sponsor who has a, who has a drink, a water or something. Um, and then obviously you think about how, how you want to have, how you want to, how do I call it, how you want to color your program. Um, I like to make TV with Melanie, we both have the same idea, that we want to make it different. So we want to film in a different way, I want to edit in a different way, and we want to um, um, use different music. Um, um, making TV is not just about writing, it's how are you going to film it, um, who is going to be filming it, and how are you going to edit it, and editing is the magic word, because that's how you create something beautiful. Now, our programs are normally uh, reality programs, so it's pretty hard. We want to really keep the rawness of it and make it really real. Uh, if someone's crying, he's crying, and if someone's laughing, he's laughing. And we want to touch people at home with our program, so it's, it's very hard to, to edit, because you want to keep it real. So, um, no, it's that, that's, that's what TV is all about, but you have to do everything. You have to do your marketing, your advertising, the producing. You have to sit with the editors because you have to make sure that they understand what you're doing and what you want. Um, you have to do the, your invoices, you have to do contracts, you have to uh, update your sites, your uh, social networking sites. Uh, your, you, you eat, breathe, everything is your TV program. Uh, the qualifications you need to be a TV producer, well, basically I studied at the University of Dance, so I have no qualifications in producing. Um, I think the best uh, qualification is the University of Life. I, I just, um, I, I've been dancing for more than 10 years. Um, I, I had to do my A-levels to go to university and then I started producing cabaret shows and choreographing pieces, which is part of my education. And uh, then I, my, always my dream was to go into TV. So I just, you know, you have to just not be scared. And if you want something, you go for it. Just believe in yourself and then everything is possible. And then I bumped into Melanie and she knew about TV. So with my experience and her experience, we're just a very good, you know, couple. We do it fantastic together. So no, if you want to do something in life, no matter what, just go for it. So for editing, we obviously we hired an editing company because uh, we didn't have the uh, the materials to do all this and the time. And um, but uh, yeah, research. I watched um, loads of X Factor. I watched uh, a lot of different TV programs, movies, um, just to see the, the, how they film, how they edit, when the music comes in. You know, these are things that when you have a reality program, you have to study, you have to research. You. Um, yeah, and right now as well, we I, I go to different countries to 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 premieres, video, TV things. Yeah, yeah, you always you always keep on seeing and you know and and watch foreign TV.
it's very important to watch foreign TV to get inspired. Because, you know, it's good to even any country, even if you don't understand a language, Portuguese, uh, Russian, whatever, whatever country, just because they have different ideas and different things. Finances. Uh, it's obviously very hard to uh, finance a TV program in Malta because it's a completely different structure. You have to um, get your sponsors to be able to finance your TV program. Now, sometimes a TV station in Malta will buy your program, so they will pay you for every episode. Um, this wasn't. This not. It didn't happen in our case. Um, it's a complete different thing because you have financial stress. You have to budget really good. You have to make sure that when you budget your TV program that your wage is in there. And then you have to keep in mind that you're going to be paid months later. So, um, yes, you have to... It's a risk. It's a little bit of a risk, but at the same time, it's an experience. Um, for example, in Holland, you producing a TV program would cost you about 500,000 euros, which is a lot of money. But then again, you have a lot of viewers, so it's a different kind of thing. The risk in Holland is, is that if your TV program doesn't reach the amount of viewers after three episodes, they cut it off. So it's a big risk because you get all your sponsors, you've been starting filming, you've made costs, and they stop it. So in Malta, no, it's, I think you have to just be smart. You just have to be smart and you can make money. For me, my dream is to uh, to keep on branding Star Makers. Um, as I already spoke about our new TV program, which is going to be really new and exciting and life changing. Um, I want to to brand Star Makers in other countries. I'd like that's my dream. I'd like to uh, be able to help people, to educate people, and to make them happy. That's number one uh, through TV. So if that's going to be on internet or on TV, that's the way I want to brand out Star Makers. That everyone has a star inside of them, and we're going to help you shine. Um, f for local people, I think that uh, they have a lot of opportunities um, if they if they, if they see them. You know, you you you. It's a, it's a small island, and yes, I know there's a, a lack in certain opportunities, but you can create your opportunities. You know, like I always say, it's not about finding yourself; it's about creating yourself. So I'm sure there are a lot of talented people in Malta who know that hey, if I really want to do this, why did I go and live a year abroad and get more experience and find myself and you know and 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 see what I can do. As in for TV, I think that if you produce a very good TV program, you should maybe start on thinking of going to the Cannes festivals, uh, MIP TV festival in Cannes, which is a festival where you can show your formats and concepts and ideas as producers, and you just have to go for it. And you have to make risks, financial risks, to go there and to, to meet people. You have to be out there, keep on meeting people. And, you know, what is meant to be will be. <laughs> in that sense. Competition. Yes, yes. Uh, competition in TV. I think with the first TV program, we, were, uh, we had something new. Star Makers is in Malta, it hasn't been done yet. There are so many different reality, talented shows around the world. You know, X Factor, So You Think You Can Dance, The Voice. Uh, now we have The Face in Holland. It's, there's always something happening in reality. Now, when I came to Malta, I realized that we don't have anything like this on TV um, with our prices because I worked directly with the Moulin Rouge. So one of our winners went to the Moulin Rouge and they came and worked with us on TV here. We had the judge from So You Think You Can Dance. We had Ish from Holland and Pineapple Art Studios from London. So we were definitely the first one in Malta to come with these prizes and international celebrities. We had the soloist from the Moulin Rouge, the, the pioneer of hip hop dance uh, from Germany. So we had a lot of different things. I think that was the reason why we had a Sultan TV because it was something new and different. And obviously we were bringing something to the country which isn't here yet. Um, if you produce TV, you have to always think of being different. Don't copy from certain TV programs. Um, yes, I'm sure a lot of people said, oh, you're like, so you think you can dance, or you're a mixture of America's Next Top Model. But we did try and to create something different. And when you produce TV or movies or drama series, you have to try and create your own, your own color, how you edit, how you film. You have to make sure that you stand out. Because if you don't stand out, then you know, you might have a nice slot in Malta, but you know, if you want to get a slot in Holland or you want to sell your concepts, you need to be different. You have to.